Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about a feature called Append Changes to Existing Text. It's a rather obscure little feature that only applies to lists. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to start by creating a new app in my IT department site here, which is SharePoint Online Office 365 regular team site. I'm going to call that Supported Platforms. And that's a custom list. And I'm going to edit the links to get that out of this recent. And then under supported platforms here, now you have one single column, the title field. When I go into edit mode, I will click on plus here and we create a new multi-line text field called platform comments. There. And at the bottom here, you see this append changes to existing text, and which is the feature this entire demo is about. So I'm going to click OK, because before I start using that, I need to enable versioning on this list. I'm going to do that under list settings, of course, versioning settings, and then create a version each time you edit an item in this list. And that's what I want to do. So I'm going to click OK. So let's first start by editing this list and just typing something in here windows the default and then i'm just switching the row now i have one entry there now if i go in and change that and just remove that blank line there for now and of course now i can follow the version history and see exactly what happened as soon as i switch the row of course Let's stop the editing. There we go. Now I can go into version history and see this is the string of comments. But when I open the item, I can only see that last comment. I can't see the entire thread of comments. So if you want a thread, kind of like a discussion board or something on your items, which might be useful when it comes to help desk tickets or things that are debatable, like supported platforms maybe. I'll go in and change this setting now, the platform comments, and I'll apply append changes to existing text, and go back into the list, and we'll see now that I only have the view entries there. So if I click there, I can see the first comments there, but if I go ahead and modify this again, if I go in here and edit this item now, you see that this box is empty now. I can't edit these ones because they're in previous versions, but um, if I add another comment there, you'll see that it ends up in the thread there. So if I see the view entries, I can see the entire thread of comments. And I can see who made that comment and when did they make that comment. So the append changes to existing text feature can be very useful in some cases, but the prerequisites for it is that you have to have a list. This doesn't work on documents. You have to have versioning enabled on the list, versioning settings there. And uh, you also have to, well, you will lose the ability to edit the, uh, the comments in quick edit mode. So that's the quick summary and the demonstration of the append changes to existing text feature. Thank you for watching this demo.